Hello, my name is Tony Chan uh, with Telecom TV. Today I'm here at OpenStack Summit 2017 in Sydney, Australia. With me today is Gabrielle Di Pietra from VMware. Gabrielle, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Tony. Uh, VMware has a long history with working with OpenStack. Can you explain a little bit about your solution? And I understand there's a new offering that you're, you're rolling out today. Yeah, sure. Uh, you're right, Tony. So we've been in the OpenStack uh, space and market for over three years now. Uh, we just announced our uh, VMware integrated OpenStack uh, 4.0, so our new distribution. Um, I think what's really uh, key for this, in addition to feature and functionalities, we are taking to market a, a version uh, specifically called Carrier Edition, targeted at telecommunication providers, obviously specifically focused on the telco and AV market, right? Uh, we have a very vibrant initiative in Telco, uh, over 50 carriers deployed in, uh, in the space. Um, but we put a lot of effort in this last year in building functionalities that address some of the gaps that OpenStack had uh, in uh, specific Telco networks. You know, a couple of comments here, for example, how to address the topic of uh, resource reservation for network applications. Uh, the need for uh, dynamic and automatic scaling based on traffic conditions, or for example, advanced networking of acceleration on data plane technologies. All of these actually layers on top of our uh, uh, core differentiators of OpenStack. Simplicity in deployment, simplicity in uh, upgrades, and simplicity in operations, state to operations. I know a lot of service providers are talking about OpenStack and they're starting to implement OpenStack, but carriers, carriers have pretty unique requirements in terms of scalability, uh, reliability, and, and issues like that. Um, how, how is the new solution tailored, tailored for these uh, requirements? We spent an extra effort to make sure that our uh, edition wasn't just tuned for a data center or enterprise data center. Uh, so the reasoning behind coming out with a carrier edition is to work on those uh, specific high-end requirements in network capabilities. I would say also the OpenStack market has been somehow fragmented, so it's not it's been an easy ride uh, uh, for telecom operators who had to manage a very uh, significant transition from physical networks to virtualized networks. So as I said, we are uh, pouring in requirements on how to actually manage the onboarding and um, performance capability for network applications. Uh, uh, speed and performance is the second component where we actually uh, tuning our OpenStack environment for uh, high packet performance and uh, you know data plane performance intensive workloads. Uh, the other capability is the uh, ability to respond in real time to traffic conditions uh, and uh, which is a, you know one feature that OpenStack um, has suffered in the past and VMware makes it easy really based on the underpinning of the VMware infrastructure. For a telco customer, potential telco customer, and they're looking at rolling out OpenStack and perhaps looking at VMware solution, what would you say to them? What, what, you know, what should they be looking at first or, or paying attention to first? I call this the best of both worlds uh, because by introducing VMware integrated OpenStack for carriers, uh, we believe we can take to market the uh, unparalleled reliability and performance of a VMware platform deployed in over 80 deployments out there, uh, but a standardized interface in, the, in an OpenStack world towards northbound interfaces. So I think that's really the major uh, um, interesting point in how to look at what VMware is doing in OpenStack. The other component, I think it's not uh, talked enough, is the uh, day to operations and management. Uh, a telco network, they don't have a service if the service is not managed, if you're not able to troubleshoot, if you're not able to manage uh, root cause analysis and, and, um, and service assurance. So I think the capabilities you bring in terms of analytics and uh, day two operations are key to a telco operator. Obviously, a telco has many, many vendors within uh, their network. A lot of times, some legacy equipment, some new equipment, uh, they have to migrate legacy systems onto new virtualized systems. How can this help them do that? One of the major um, the investment that VMware made in this, in this space is a certification program. We have something that is called VMware Ready for NFV, where we have over 50 
uh, VNF providers certified on a VMware environment. Uh, I think this really speaks of the openness, but also on our attention to uh, accelerating the transition to virtualized networks. Uh, I think that, that would be um, a major talking point for us. I think implementation is picking up pace, but wh what is your perspective on the maturity of this market? My perspective is that there's no turning back. Uh, yes, they are ready for NFV. Uh, there are obviously um, a set of uh, um, you know, uh, topics to be addressed, um, such as uh, you know, deployments, uh, scaling, operations, uh, the production environment, which is not anymore uh, proof of concept, the onboarding of multiple applications, moving now from centralized uh, uh, core networks to distributed networks, distributed data centers and edge. Uh, but to me, there's no turning back. 5G is uh, around the corner and uh, you cannot have a, an effective 5G implementation without virtualized technology, so no question about it. Great. Thank you very much, Gabriel. Yeah, thank you.